the Corps of Engineers is improving the Coastal Storm Risk Management Project at Coney Island by reinforcing the West 37th Street groin at the project's west end and addressing the chronic erosion issues in nearby Seagate with the sand placement and the installment of T-groins in Seagate. The project will help to protect the Coastal Storm Risk Management beaches of Coney Island while also providing residual benefits to the community of Seagate. The name of the project is Coney Island Shoreline Protection from 37th Street onto Norton Point's jetty. This project is funded by the Sandy Relief Program. As a result of uh, Hurricane Sandy that took place a couple of years ago, there was a substantial amount of um, damage that was done on the, the beach itself as well as uh, the residents that currently are situated right up against the beach. And uh, what we're doing here is uh, building new structure, tea growing structures that will help us stabilize the, the, the beach itself. So we'll have uh, six different structures, brand new structures that we're building, uh, tea growing two of them partial and four of them which will be situated in the middle of the beach going out into the ocean. The T-Grons themselves will be about, and they're varying for each of them, but they're approximately 200 feet in uh, width and length going out into the ocean would be about uh, 80 to 90 feet. They're oval shaped and they'll be like a T-structure because you'll have the oval shape with the rocks and different layers of rocks and uh, and concrete precast core units that'll go down the center of those uh, structures. And then you'll have sheet piling similar to what you see behind me, the temporary sheet, but we'll have actual permanent sheeting coming all the way to, um, to the beach to further stabilize the structures. And at the end, the beach will be fully graded with sand that we're dredging out of the Gravesend Bay as well as Rockaway Inlet to uh, bring the profile up at least about seven feet higher and widen the beach going out into the ocean. Uh, we are also doing repair work on existing uh, uh, jetty on 37th Street as well as the dike on 45th Street. Uh, the number one thing that's definitely different about this is actual the, the design of the tea groins. Without going into too much details, what it is is it's a uh, experimental design uh, because it incorporates various layers of different type of stones, which is typical, but it also is utilizing precast concrete core units that will be triangular shaped and they'll be placed at the center line of those uh, t groins that would further stabilize um, the actual t groin structures for a lot longer. So the longevity of, of the structure is uh, further enhanced by this experimental design, which is new. Um, it hasn't been done on any other projects of ours. There's various uh, benefits to having the tea runs in place. Uh, mainly, it stabilizes the beach. It will minimize the wave action. It will also minimize loss of sand due to erosion. Um, we will be retaining way more sand than currently is being done. Um, and that way you keep a beach where it's wide enough for the residents of Seagate to, uh, you know, regularly enjoy during their, uh, during their summers or even winters. 